What's happening coin collectors and welcome back to the channel with me Bo Selector. Now in today's hunt we've got a two pound hunt and we're still getting bags from the 14th of the 9th 2021 which is a day before my birthday. We're going to check the book. Yes this is the second book. We are missing Commonwealth Games Northern Ireland, Commonwealth Games Scotland, Olympic Centenary, and the 2015 Britannia. And if we're lucky enough to get the Navy Centenary full flag error, it's going to be a bonus. But we're on book number two and we just need four. That's it. Just four. So let's get into this hunt. Let's smash it. Let's find some cool coins. We got Stan. Because Laurel was busy. So we're looking for anything above face value. We're looking for anything for the book. And then there's also a few things that I keep to the side, which I I swap with people at face value just so they can add to their collection. First out the bat is a Bruno Arches. Very cool coin with the diagrams of the bridge. Looks cool, but very, very common. We got the 1999 Rugby World Cup. Yowzers. We also check the rotation errors on the 2015. There's another one, three in a bag. This is the First World War. And it should say for King and Country. And that is the inscription that you find on the Shakespeare history coins. I think. Three in the first bag. We'll take that as a starting point. We will definitely take that as a starting point. 2015. We've got to check these errors because there's millions of them around. We've only just started finding them. Ooh, there's Lord Kitchener. Ooh, and there's an 1807 abolition of the slave trade. And on the back of this one, we are looking for one that doesn't say the two pound. This one does. It is not the mule. Two bags in. Five coins found. That's a pretty decent rate. We love these sealed bags. Sealed bags are the best. We come up our first bust. Bust number one. Yep. Nothing in that one. There's another 1999 Rugby World Cup. Really cool coin. I would, yeah. I think I have something up here, which would, you would like to see. Just a sneak peek. Look at that bad boy, which is the hologram Rugby World Cup 1999. Absolutely stunning. Probably my favorite coin in my collection because I love rugby as well. Being Welsh, it's a sport we all love. Not very good, are it? Well, we, we kind of like hit and miss. Sometimes we can play exceptionally well. For a second, first world war. For king and country. Sometimes we're good, sometimes we're bad. Yeah, look at that. Look how minging that is. That is disgusting. That is Shakespeare's comedies. One of three. Absolutely minging though, fair play. It is a Charles Dickens. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? I do hope everyone is fit and well out there in the world, wherever you are. I do have people watching as far as Brazil on the channel, so welcome. 
I hope you're all well. Whatever time of the day, evening that this video goes out. Thank you for watching. I also have viewers in the States. So, welcome. There's a gunpowder plot. And I also have viewers in the Philippines. So, thank you all so much for tuning into the channel and watching my content. I hope you. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Boosh. That is uh, a rotation error on the 2050. That is the first keeper of the book. That's a cracker, that is. An absolute cracker. Another one to add to the collection. But is there going to be so many of them out there that, I mean, where do you draw the line of collecting those era 2015s? So that is the star of the hunt so far. I am stuck on the two pound coin videos. For a while not that i'm bothered because two pound coins are my favorite denomination to be searching through the is our second charles dickens the bank told me that they have two thousand pounds worth of sealed 2019 shields so I'm going to be just mainly focusing on the two pound coins for the next couple of weeks until they get rid of their stock and i can get back to recording the 50p videos but i'm not too bothered that is the dnx dnx dmx rap band that is a dna double helix I'm not too bothered about it because I thoroughly enjoy searching through the two pound coins anyway. I was pretty lucky in the first box that I came across the Commonwealth Games Northern Ireland first first hunt. That is obviously not going to happen this time because there are already so many in. There's another Bruno. Another World War. For King and Country. Another Charles Dickens coming up. Number three. Only the rotation error to shout about at the moment. But we do have a nice spread of coins. That is another wireless transmission. Number... Oh no, that's the first one. Sorry. That is good. Another Brunel. That is number three. That is good. That is good. 2015. Both 2015. That's good. That is good. Like I almost don't want to find any more of these 2015s. I want to find some cool coins. Yes, now that is a cool coin. That is the Great Fire of London, and that is also a keeper. It's a very, very nice coin. I really do like that. I do keep all my Great Fire of London coins. 
so we found something cool. Not amazing, but it's cool. But we're happy. We are happy hunting. As long as we are hunting, we are happy. Makes no odds what we find. Another DNA double helix, aka DMX. Ooh, it's a Britannia. 2016, unfortunately. Already have that one, but I'd say I still about face value, so it's not a cool coin. 2015, we just check that. Ooh, see, look at the difference on that. Um, look at the difference. Shakespeare's comedy number two, and you always. I don't know if anybody else has noticed, you always seem to get this red circle around the outside of the Queen's head. Always get that. I would love to know the answer why, if any of you out there have some sort of information on why that red circle appears. That would be cool. Slam it down in the comment section. So far we will be looking at the vintage figures of the Great Fire of London. I'm actually I'm gonna stick with that. Oh my god, I know what that is. I know what that is. <laughs> oh I don't know if I I know what it is, but I didn't 2012, yes I know what that is. Oh, get in there. That is why I prefer doing the two pound coins. Have a quick look now. Do we need it or not? No, we got it. We got five bags left. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Successful hunt. So it just takes one coin, just one coin to really get you out there. Up the murky deep soup. There's a Florence and the Machine, aka Florence Nightingale. Fourteen, nine, one. I'm so glad I don't do date runs on the two pound coins as well. I'll just be forever skinned. Trying to find the best looking coins to add to the to the collection. First World War, I don't know if you could see it, but again you could see that red circle around the Queen's head. I'd love to know what is the reason to this. Hey, the Taj Mahal makes an appearance. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Cool coin. Too cool for school. 2015. Three bags left. Here's another Shakespeare comedy. Pretty cool spread, actually. You, 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 can't, you cannot complain on a mixture like that, to be fair. That's a... Pretty decent mix. There's the Shakespeare comedies that I was on about. Again, the condition on it is so much better than the first one we found. Two bags left. What left is in the pot? What left is in the pot? Oh, there he is, Lord Kitchener. But he says two pounds. So that is not the mule. <laughs> Last five. Here we go. There you go. There's that redness around the head again. 
and it's a Shakespeare's history and it is what piece of work is a man which is the correct inscription which is around the head that's what we're looking for Fifteen, and there we have it. So I think this is the. Uh, even though the, the head looks a bit weird because the ring comes around here and then it disappears. See, I think this is the Beijing handover. Uh, oh no, it's the London. I have that. I think I do. There it is at the bottom. Got a cool coin. I'm going to get my little book and we're going to go on the mintage figures of the Great Fire in London. If we can find it. It's here somewhere. We shall find it. Somewhere. Come on, where are you hiding? Hmm. There he is. So we have the Great Fire of London with a mintage of 1.6 million and 25,000. Now, common circulated coin, I would say three to four pounds, which is always a great coin to find, and they are keepers. So, here's the book. So, thank you very much for watching. We'll put that in the back, we'll put that in the back, and we'll put that in the back. And here's my thumbnail. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next hunt. Happy hunting. Ciao.